That's soaking wet. Mm, what is the cause of earaches? Well, that's debatable. I can tell you what the headaches is, though. Just kind of look around. God, I've been telling you guys for six years that, you know, stress caused headaches or misalignments and subluxations cause headaches, but I don't know. I think I've got a new reason. Actually, I don't think I've got a lot of reasons. But you'll all be happy to know that in this process that I am getting adjusted and I'm going to all the merciful chiropractors and I'm getting foot baths and I'm lasering myself and doing whatever I can to stay healthy because stress just wears and tears and breaks down your body and I can't afford to get sick at this point so I am taking care of myself so what do I do during times of chaos and times of trauma I do what I tell you guys to do I get adjusted I do foot baths I laser myself I take tons of nutrition um, take all the nutrition that I had left man that really stinks about all that nutrition in my room but anyway um, I had just placed a huge order to NutriWest on Thursday no not Thursday Tuesday maybe or Wednesday because I was out at digestive enzymes and all you guys needed them um, man thank God that delivery didn't go through that's awesome but anyway I was on my tangent of what we do during times of stress and I do the same thing I tell you guys to do taking my nutrition I'm eating healthy I'm eating fruits and vegetables and um, you know protein and been putting stuff through my juicer and well, I'm seeing a car drive away I hope that's not mine but anyway so I'm keeping myself healthy so I can be healthy for you guys so that's what we do during times of stress all right there's not really much more to tell you I think these videos speak for themselves um, I don't know I'm actually doing pretty good as I'm going through this and I don't know maybe I'm surprised but I'm actually not surprised because because it just seems like the fire was so bad that there's not really anything that's recognizable back here and I guess it's that's maybe almost easier to say goodbye to um, I don't I don't even recognize anything barely back here um, and if it things were half burnt or partially burnt and I really had to see just my work and my life partially burnt or partially destroyed I know that that, that just would have killed me if I had to see remnants of what was in my adjusting room Ugh, if I had to just see my diplomas that were partially burned I know that that would have destroyed me so again we see God's hand in all of this and in really what God protected me from because I guess this fire burnt in the way that it did for God to just protect my eyes and protect my heart so I couldn't look back and I just wouldn't have to be reminded of basically everything that was lost and just all the work that got put into this place so all right I'm gonna go Hopefully soon I will have a video camera. Well, I'll definitely have a video camera, but hopefully sometime soon our next video will be of a new and beautiful place. Peace. Guys, well I just walked out the back door um, of my office and I know I said goodbye to you guys before, but I just found a whole bunch of stuff back here. Um, this thing right here that was just a wire rack that we had stuff stored on on the back I think this is kind of funny well it's not funny but this disc right here as you can see it says NutriWest on it when you want the best nutritional reference guide 
guess I have to call New Choice to see if I can get a new one. This right there, look at that paint can. You see that color paint? It's a beautiful purple. There's the paint can that I painted my adjusting room with. There's a mop. Guess this place needs some cleaning. That, this thing right here is like, it's like a disc. Yeah, it's a disc, some kind of nutritional. I think it's from CRT Labs. That orange thing right there. Guess what? That's a paint tray, of course. This thing right here, it says cards. Avery postage cards. Avery white cards to send out notes to you guys. Right there is my garage door. Back of my garage door. The chair back here and a table. That wasn't my lawn chair. I can promise you guys that. I wish I had a lawn chair in my office. There's a pile of rubble in the back. This is where they tried to break through, I think. I think, I don't know, for the fire, as you can see, the absence of the roof, yeah, alright, so this time I really am going to say goodbye, because there really isn't anything more to see, it's all the same, it's just rubble. It's just, I mean, there's probably about maybe 10 or 15 things in here that are remotely recognizable. Um, so, coming in through the back, take one last shot of the church. And church. Here's my office. And then the clock gallery. Okay, so I'm about ready to close out again for the third time. And I'm sitting here thinking, how really can I close this out? What really can I say that would be fitting? And the only thing that comes to my mind is to just pray and to close this with a prayer. And I know that this is going to go on our website for the world to see. It says in scripture, when two or more are gathered in my name, your word is heard. So let's gather the world in our prayer and just let God hear what we have to say. Lord, I come to you in Jesus' name and just pray for your strength, your guidance, and your support through this process. Lord, I pray for the power of discernment to come through my mind and for me to very easily and clearly see your path. Lord, I thank you so much for the beautiful, beautiful people that you've brought into my life over this tragedy. And um, I want you to know that I am going to share with the world all of your beauty and your glory and all of this. I pray that you keep all my patients healthy until I can see them again. You keep them strong. You keep them protected. I pray, Lord, that you will warm all the hearts of my family and my friends and the people that know me just give them peace and let them know that I'm okay. And just keep my eyes open and help me see what you have in store for the art of healing chiropractic. I know it's going to be good because I know that you will just use every tragedy for your glory. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen.